New at 5, it's the busiest shopping season of the year and retailers aren't the only ones moving product. It's also a very busy time for shoplifters. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan joins us with the story from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom inside the Warwick Mall. An estimated $1.8 billion in merchandise are shoplifted every Christmas season. We spoke with folks here at the Warwick Mall to find out how they fared. This surveillance video shows a man stealing a donation jar. This man pockets goods from a store shelf without paying. A shoplifting scene that plays out in stores across America an estimated 500,000 times a day. Any uh, place where you have a lot of people congregating uh, presents a challenge. Dominic Chavon, the general manager at the Warwick Mall, tells us among the two billion dollars in goods that were stolen over this holiday, some of that was local. Like the national, there is a slight increase during the holiday season uh, and with the economy. In fact, according to the Association for the Prevention of Shoplifting, this season saw a 6% increase in sticky fingers, a cost of nearly $2 billion. One in 11 Americans have helped themselves to items costing honest consumers more than a penny or two. Any shoplifting increases prices, uh, not only just because uh, retailers are losing uh, on the sales, but the, the, what they need to spend in preventing the shoplifting. Here at the Warwick Mall, there was some good news in the second quarter. As sales increased, shoplifting has seemed to hit a plateau. You actually see a steady leveling off. There are more than a few factors that influence someone's decision to shoplift, the holiday pressure influencing some. But before you do something illegal, remember, there are other resources. The mall manager tells us they invest a lot of money in techniques to prevent shoplifting. Of course, many of those, for security reasons, are kept under wraps. In Warwick, with the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.